Well, as well as dealing with the fallout from yesterday's Supreme Court ruling, the Prime Minister is also under growing pressure about his relationship with an American businesswoman. Jennifer Arcuri was recently awarded over £100,000 in government grants, and during Boris Johnson's time as London Mayor, she was invited on several overseas trips. Our Home Affairs correspondent Daniel Sanvers here. So, Daniel, tell us what this is all about. Well, on the very first day of the newly reopened Parliament, Boris Johnson's brand new digital minister, Matt Warman, found himself asking, answering awkward questions about his boss's relationship with this American tech entrepreneur, Jennifer Arcuri. The minister defended the £100,000 grant that had been given to one of Miss Arcuri's tech company's hacker house, saying that uh, Boris Johnson and his staff had had absolutely no role in the award of the grant, and he's saying there was no reason to think there was anything untoward. Boris Johnson was, after all, a backbencher at the time uh, that the grant was made, but there is an internal review going on in, inside the department to work out whether the award was appropriately made. The minister said that this was a British company with a British telephone number, though when I telephoned what appeared to be a London telephone number today, it was actually answered by a woman who was clearly in California. So that telephone number doesn't really tell you very much about where the business is based. And Boris Johnson's also perhaps waiting up facing more difficult questions about his time as London Mayor and the apparently preferential treatment given to Jennifer Arcuri in particular going on three trade missions with Boris, Johnson's over Joris Boris Johnson overseas. So she's insisted in a statement that she was on those trips purely in her role as a legitimate businesswoman. I don't think this is an issue that's going to go away, Fiona. Daniel, thank you.